However, the sentence that uh, the court is about to pronounce, uh, I am very mindful of um, what was presented as to Mr. Holder's uh, mental health history. I'm also mindful of the devastation caused to the victims and their families. So I think uh, this sentence balances both. Uh, the principal term in this sentence will be count three, the 245A2 on Mr. Latham. The court selects the midterm of three years in state prison. For the gun, there will be an additional four years in state prison consecutive. And then for the red bodily injury allegation that was found true, it will be uh, three years consecutive to that. So for count three, it will be a total of 10 years in state prison. As to count two, which was the attempted voluntary manslaughter, Mr. Layton being the victim, uh, the court has doubts as to the viability of that count because there was no provocation uh, by Mr. Layton. Same holds true for Mr. Ben Wade. Uh, the court believes that uh, it is 654, uh, so that the court would impose the midterm of three years plus the four years and the three years, but stay uh, those sentences. If, as to count five, uh, the 245A2 as to Mr. Uh, Ben Wade. Uh, the court uh, selects the midterm of three years plus the four years for the, that's the midterm for the use of the gun. Uh, it's a total of seven years, but run that concurrent. As to uh, count four, the attempted uh, voluntary mass law, again, this court feels that uh, 654 is applicable so that uh, it would impose the three years uh, the midterm plus four years for the gun, but stay. Once again, if the court is incorrect about that application, it would be the midterm of three years plus four years for the gun, and that would run concurrent. As to count six, Penal Code Section 2980081, possession of a firearm by a felon, <coughs> as this was the uh, gun used, or one of the guns used uh, uh, by the defendant. Uh, court feels this is 654 and will select the uh, midterm of two years and stay that. Uh, otherwise, it would be two years concurrent. As to count one, the murder in the first degree of Mr. Askadon, the sentence will be the term prescribed by law, which is 25 years to life. In addition, there will be the 12022.53B allegation, uh, which is consecutive. That will be an additional 25 years to life. So for count one alone, it would be 50 years to life. Uh, the total sentence would be 60, 60 years to life in prison. The court should note that the other enhancements found true as to count one by the jury, the 12022.53B, and the 1202.53C.